First alert meteorologist Ray Petlin actually went to Kennywood today. The park hosted the Western Pennsylvania Slovak Day Association's 100th Slovak Day. Today celebrates uh, Slovak's traditions, family, and faith. And then came the rain. Uh, I'm happy you were able to enjoy Kennywood, Ray, while you could. Probably your, the whole time just thinking about how later on this evening it was going to be the mother of all storms. The good news is their event went until I believe six. Mm -hmm. And uh, so all the pierogies were gone and didn't have to worry about uh, these storms uh, coming in <laughs> by then. But uh, these storms still uh, continue to rumble through the region. Now there's some good news and some bad news. Uh, the good news is the storms aren't quite as strong with the winds as they were earlier. As we've been cooling off for the night, these storms have a little less uh, energy for the lift to work with, but they're are still pretty gusty and you know when these storms are coming through a lot of lightning heavy rain and that is now shifting towards the I 70 corridor coming out of Washington uh, through Blainsburg almost uh, through uh, 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 the turnpike through Greensburg Greensburg is starting to lighten up. There's still some very steady rains up to the north as well, but we have quite a big area of a flash flood warning. Now many of these warnings uh, from Pittsburgh and north expire at 130 south of Pittsburgh that goes until 215. We've seen incredible amounts of rainfall coming down to the tune of two to four inches in many cases. By radar estimates, two inches in northern Allegheny County, almost three outside of Pittsburgh, two and a half in uh, areas like Mars and Cranberry, Butler two and a half, nearly four inches outside Newcastle by radar estimates. This amount of rainfall in a short amount of time has led to creeks and streams not being able to evacuate all that water like they normally would. So you get the backup and that goes for some uh, city drainage systems as well. So what we're seeing or several areas where there is water covering roadways. You do not want to try to cross that, especially at night, but you never want to do it even in the daytime. Uh, turn around, don't drown. Uh, several areas do have some road closures uh, because of that heavy rain that came through and the, the, the topography still trying to evacuate it. Now from uh, uh, Allegheny County back to Indiana, so Pittsburgh to Indiana southward, we still have our severe thunderstorm watch. This runs until 3 a.m. I think this is going to be wrapping up early. It looks like these storms are starting to lose some of their strength in respects to the winds, but there's still a lot of lightning and thunder coming through with these storms as as they rumble on. But uh, it is quieted down substantially still with some lighter rain here in Pittsburgh. That was a view off of Mount Washington. This view Gateway Center looking towards Akershire Stadium. Uh, the rain is uh, pretty steady still up to the north and then down to the south. We have uh, those those heavier showers still working through. So this rain is uh, going to be ending here in the coming hours, which is a good thing because we need to, to let this work out of the system. But uh, the rain and thunderstorm activity by the time we get to midnight 1 a.m. is going to be uh, uh, down towards the state line and by 2 a.m. pretty much exiting our area. So it's just a couple more hours left with this rain, especially for those southern communities who haven't been getting hit just yet. But it is weakening, which is a good sign. Then we get into the weekend with some beautiful weather, maybe a spotty shower tomorrow afternoon, uh, but that'll be very isolated. I think it's going to be a pretty nice Nice day overall and the weekend looks spectacular. So we go down to the low 60s tonight. These thunderstorms are finishing up. Uh, this is going to lead to potentially some pockets of fog by early tomorrow morning through the day. We top off in the upper 70s. This is going to be a little cooler than average. The humidity is going to be a little more refreshing than we've had and uh, temperatures top off in the upper 70s. We do get those numbers coming back up for the weekend. So both Saturday and Sunday, we're talking low to mid 80s, bright sunshine, mid 80s on Monday. Most of the day is dry there late. We could see a shower trying to develop, but that's towards sunset the way things are timing out right now. We're talking mid to upper 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday.